A particle moves along a horizontal line where its position is given by the function below. S of t equals t cubed minus t squared minus 5t. Find the velocity and acceleration at t equals 3 seconds. Well, let's do this. Let's do the velocity on the left. Let's do the acceleration on the right. All right, let's do the velocity function in red, or if you're colorblind, gray. Velocity is found by taking the derivative of your position function. Okay, so this. So I need to take the derivative of s. So s prime is going to be drop down that 3t squared minus 2t minus 56. Okay, power rule, power rule, power rule. This is the velocity function right there. Let me rewrite it out. The velocity function is 3t squared minus 2t minus 56. What I care about is what happens at 3 seconds. So v of 3, which is s prime of 3, is going to be 3 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3 minus 56. Okay, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Minus 6 minus 56. The negatives combine to make negative 62. Negative 62 plus 27 is negative 35. So that's the velocity at 3. Okay, what this means is I have seconds here, units. It doesn't say feet. It doesn't say any, you know, measurement. What this means is this is going backwards, okay, or downwards. If it's a negative velocity, that means you're like, if I were to drive 30 miles, 35 miles an hour, I'm driving forward. If I were to drive negative 35 miles an hour, I'm driving backwards 35 miles an hour, and this represents going backwards. Now, if the velocity, which is speed, right? But velocity is allowed to be negative, speed's not. So just another thing to put in your, another feather to put in your hat. Uh, if I wanted to find acceleration, acceleration is the second derivative of the initial function, of the position function. So S double prime of T. So this is going to be my acceleration function. So S single prime, its derivative, drop that two down, becomes six T minus two, get rid of the T. This is the acceleration function. Let me get rid of the prime. I really, oh my gosh, I really didn't need that prime there. And so I just got rid of everything. All right. The acceleration function is given to us by 6t minus 2. Now, acceleration is what's going on at the moment. So what's happening at 3? Are you accelerating? Are you decelerating? Are you speeding up? Are you slowing down? Let's find out. Um, A of 3 is going to be 6 times 3 minus 2 which is 18 minus two. So A of three is 16. So let's attach units of measure to this, right? Velocity is like miles per hour, feet per second. I have three, it doesn't give me a unit for its position. So we'll say units per second. For acceleration, it's units per second squared. Now what's happening at this three second mark is I'm hitting the pedal to the metal, I'm accelerating, I'm going faster, but I'm going backwards while doing it. So in a second, I'll be going negative 38 miles an hour or something like that. But acceleration is positive, which means I'm speeding up while going backwards. That is how we do this problem. And that is the velocity and acceleration example. Dunzo.